uh, coming all together, you know. I appreciate my coach Chino, you know, for guiding me to the right path, putting me back in where I belong, motivating me once again, because, you know, I did um, lose a little love for the boxing. You know, I was a little off, taking fights all crazy with two weeks, three weeks notice. Like, for example, this, this fight, I took it with a four-week notice. I trained myself two weeks, and the last week you don't count it. Why? Because you cut it away. You're not really training. And, you know, it was an awkward fighter. You know, I took the fight, like um, like I said, four weeks notice. Um, awkward kid, 21 and 0, undefeated. You know, a higher weight class than me. I'm a 135-pounder. I'm not a 140. I made this weight too easy. And, you know, it just, it, all the hard work pays off. You know, I went through some little things inside of the ring that, you know, it's just any fight I go through. You know, my hand, look, if you can see, that's just swollen. Got hit with a headbutt, almost closed my eyes. First, first time all these things happened together in one fight. And, you know, so... It kind of proved that, you know, I got the balls, you know, I got what it takes. And, you know, I could, I could hang in there with the top guys, to be honest. Just give me a couple more fights, uh, I'll say like a year and a half, two, and I'll be ready for all them guys, man. Well, based on the scorecards, the difference of the fight was the knockdown. So, so, so just talk about that, because I was seeing the scorecards. You know, I don't know. I don't know how the judges were scoring. And, you know, I thought I was up 7-3. Mm -hmm. I won 7-3 easy. But talk about the knockdown specifically. What, what, what did you see? Uh, and the knockdown, you know, he just came a little um, a little rushing, a little crazy, you know. So I did my signature move, a little step back, catch him with the hook. And, you know, I landed on top of the head, and this is... My head on right on top of the head. He got a hard ass head. I ain't gonna lie, bro. But you know, you know, thanks thanks to my signature move, we got the victory. I guess thanks on on the judges' eyes. So you know, I don't know. I thought we won clearly seven three or six four max. Six four, six four. Six four seven three. However you want to see it, but. 95, talking about I won just because of the drop. I don't see that happen. I don't know. I said to Chino before we were talking here that, uh, you know, you had the 14 knockout, 16 wins. You're blowing some guys out with your wins. Showed a little bit different side of you tonight. Some boxing ability, the counter punching. You know, uh, to talk about that, kind of evolving a, a little bit more in your game. Uh, you know, let me see. Are you not here? <laughs> You know, I'm working with Tevin Farmer now, baby. I'm working with, with the slickest guy in boxing, bro. Come on. You know I got to pick up on some things. You know, mm -hmm. I'm sparring him, seeing this shit. Um, when he sparring, you know, he do some shit on me. And believe it or not, behind closed doors, you see me practicing that shit. So, you know, I'm picking up on little things. You know, I just can't be a brawler. You know, I got to understand that not every fight going to go into a knockout. So, you know, I do got to adjust. You know, I got to work on my jab a little more. I guess, I think this is one of the fights where I work with my jab the most, even though I didn't throw a lot of jabs. But this is one of the fights I threw the most jabs. You know, you just keep him proven fight by fight you beat a quality guy at 140 you you know you, you feel you need to campaign at one weight or maybe just maybe look for better opportunities whatever comes up if uh, to be honest right now as you can see i'm ranked number 10 in front of in the ibf top 10 so you know we're just gonna keep working but hey i'm a 135 pounder i made this way too easy um, this week, boy, if I, I probably didn't even train for two days. I didn't even train, you know, made weight, 39, easy. So, you know, four pounds, what's four pounds? We do that in what? In 30 minute jump rope. So, you know, I am a truly 135 pounder. And, you know, I'm just coming for you guys, man. 135, watch out. So, so, so whatever the, you know, maybe best opportunity, it's not necessarily you're married to a weight right this second. Man, right now, <laughs> just know there's going to be a new camp, 135 or 140. We're single. That's it. We're single. We're not married to no weight. We're 35 or 40. Whatever comes first, we know a good call, um, good purses, you know, we're here, man. We see what we got, bro. How much you know, can you learn? Them. How much can you learn going forward from a fight like that? You said it really. Oh, uh, you learn you, you learn a lot, you know, because in, in, in boxing, you know, you're gonna have a lot of different styles, you know. Not everybody gonna be the same type of style. You know, it's probably gonna be guys that have a better record and I'll probably knock them out easier. Why? Because they know how to fight, you know what I'm saying? Weird guys like that, they make you look ugly. You know, a lot of fights that fight it like that, it make you look ugly. But what? You got to go through it. You got to listen to your corner, adjust. You know, that's what we did today. Were you surprised at all with the way he came out with that style? He's not really known as a as, as a knockout guy, but he came out. So uh, hard. You know, he came out like that because, you know, he had to throw a lot of punches to, you know, in order to win rounds. You know, I understand that, you know. He's not a power puncher, so if he boxes, he wasn't going to throw punches. So he got he to gotta throw punches, you know. So, but you know what? I'm just glad we got the victory, you know. Um, the outcome comes. Uh, I want to thank God, you know, my team, my family, everybody that came, flew in, helped me. My boy right here, Kele, you know, the rapper, you know, he came in for free. I didn't even have to pay him. He said, you know what, I'm going to go support you. And, you know, I appreciate that, you know. I feel I feel blessed. You know, I'm humble. And, you know, just thank God, bro. My last one was, uh, yeah, I see he came running in. It starts like, how long did it take you to, he was switching southpaw. How long did it take you to kind of get comfortable? I think it took me about four rounds you know to get comfortable because if you see at first i was a little like too anxious but then i started calming down a little more and i started probably my jack controller the pace here and there but you know we just got to go back to the, to the gym you know just keep working man mm -hmm. i know i got a lot to improve 
Uh, now you see guys, I I, I, could, I could move on box, you know. So I got I got I got a lot, I got a lot of.